If they won't hear them, neither will they be persuaded. Though one raised from the dead. Hallelujah. Jesus rose from the dead. My brother, he showed himself alive of the 500 brothers at once. My brother, but there were still people. And there are still people today that won't believe that. They don't believe that he arose. Boy, if you could feel what's in my heart tonight. Boy, I tell you, when that, when the Lord saved this old boy, his spirit come into my heart, he quickened me, and he made me alive. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I'm not dead tonight. Praise God. Uh, the Bible said when we uh, leave this old body, uh, we'll be present with the Lord. I'm never going to die. Jesus said, he that eateth me shall never die. Ain't that good news? <laughs> Praise God, I'm going to eat of that tree of life forever and forever. Hallelujah. Oh, glory tonight. Sometimes I can't preach for shouting. <laughs> Praise God. I'm excited. Praise God about what I tell you, if you're out there and lost tonight, boy, they're, they're setting off a, a rockets in the air. They're making a big splash. They say they're going to have a big time in New York. Praise God, we're having a big time here, down here in eastern Kentucky. Woo! Glory to God. Uh, we're rejoicing tonight because we've been born again and our names have been written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Praise God. Glory. I'm not ashamed of him. He wasn't ashamed to bleed and die for me, Brother Felix. When he got on that cross, brother, uh, they mocked him. They spit upon him. They plucked his beard. They done all kind of evil. They ran a sword into his side. My brother, they mistreated him some awful. And all he ever did uh, was do a go around doing good for somebody. Uh, Open the eyes of the blind. Uh, raising the dead. Uh, healing the sick. Why does the world not want a savior like that tonight? I can't understand why they don't want a friend like that. Jesus, I mean, he's the greatest friend I've ever had. Hallelujah. I love him tonight. Boy, I tell you what, he's done so much for me. Not only has he done so much for me, he's going to what he's going to do. Oh, when this life is over. Boy, and I tell you, I've got a better place to go to. We used to sing an old song, I'm so glad. I've got a better place to go. Hallelujah. Praise God. I've got family waiting on the other side, brother. How that accepted cry. And brother, they set the example for me to follow. Hey, brother, I tell you tonight, you need to get your house in order. Amen. If God calls you tonight, where would you be? Where would you go tonight if he calls your name? It's sad tonight. There's going to be a lot of people leave out of this old world unprepared to meet God. He told Hezekiah, set thy house in order, for thou shalt surely die and not live. You're not going to live, Hezekiah. Oh, I tell you, Hezekiah got serious. He knew the power of God. You know, God's got the power to give life, and God's got the power to take life tonight. Uh, brother, if he chooses to take your life tonight, uh, he'll be just in doing it because he's God, and, and he's the one made us, Brother Ken. He's the one created us. He's the one that breathed that breath of life uh, into our bodies, and we became a living soul, brother. He's the one done that. Uh, we're his property tonight. We're the property of God. God chooses to call you whether you're ready or not. You'll face him. You're either facing prepared or unprepared. I'm afraid, Lord, tonight there's so many people facing God unprepared. Not ready, Brother Jonathan. Not got their names written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Not believed in the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm telling you, he's a merciful God. Not willing that any should perish, but all come to repentance. Here's what Hezekiah did. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall, and he prayed unto the Lord. And, said, and look here what he said. He said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech you, how I have walked before you in truth. You know, Seth, Hezekiah, 
He said, remember now how I have walked before you. I have walked before you. What are you doing now, Hezekiah? Are you still walking before me? Praise God, those people said, I used to go to church. I used to sing in the choir. I used to preach the gospel. I used to do that. But God ain't got no need for youthful people. They used to do something. But he wants us still to work for him. He wants us still to, to worship him. He wants us still to serve him. I ain't found no place to quit. Have you? <laughs> I got a bad back and I'd have an excuse. Hey. In man's eyes, they say, Brother Donnie, why don't you just quit preaching? Yeah, retire. You ain't, you're back, you've got a bad back and you know it. 